Right before the video starts, if you want to join the server and play with me, make sure to use my IP, imake.archonhq.net. You don't get anything in return, it's just like you're regularly joining the server, but it does help me and I do appreciate it, so make sure to join using my IP. And also, if you guys want a free rank on the server, this is how you get it. So if you don't have a rank on the server and you want to get a free recruit rank and you haven't used my code before or you haven't used anyone's code, go to the link at the top of the description, shop.thearchon.net. Once you are there, you will see free rank for from a YouTuber. Then make sure to enter your IGN correctly with capitals and all. Then it will say, please select the realm you wish to claim the package on. Make sure to do Outlands X1 or Outlands X2, whichever server you play on. And where you see the coupon code, make sure to type in I make MC vids, then click redeem and you will get the free rank. But also don't forget to fill out all your information and click claim for free. What's going on guys, I'm McKimsey here and I already did my intro so I don't need to explain what I'm playing, but we are on 1x today. And if you don't know what that means, there's pretty much Outlands 1x and there's Outlands 2x. 2x is you get loot faster. I've been playing on both of them, but 1x is actually going to reset before this video comes out. So we're going to go ahead and use all of my C4 that I have. I have 14, wait no, 15 C4. Four homemade explosives and well, I probably actually have eight homemade explosives because I have 21 explosive. And today we're gonna be raiding this base and I already know where two of their main chest rooms are because our world downloaded the base. They also have some chests at the bottom. So we're gonna try and blow into this. I think the best way to get started with the raid is blowing through the iron doors and then going straight to the middle chest room where their TC is. And then I think we're gonna go up to where they have their little locker areas with all of their loot. Hopefully this is a good raid. Let me go ahead and get the C4 out and let's get started. I also have another Minecraft pulled up that is on single player with their base world downloaded. So I'm gonna be looking at that while I'm raiding. So there are two main chest rooms, which I'm hoping is their main chest rooms. They, they had like an iron door to and a bunch of light like chest in are right over there. Place the C4. And then after that, I need to place the homemades. And if this works, we will be able to walk right by the iron door, hopefully. Oh, it worked, let's go. Okay, so we're in this area now. Where does this go? Oh, we are really close to a chest. Can I open that? I don't think I can. Yeah, I need to be closer. But this is their bottom chest room where their TC is. Obviously, if you don't play this, you don't know what a TC is. It's a tool cupboard. It's pretty much if you raid it, you get points. Uh, you get 30% of their clan points, I believe. So first, we're going to go ahead and place the C4 right there. And then also, let's go ahead and go down here and might as well place it right here, I believe. Okay, we need homemades now. So let's homemade and let's homemade right there. And if they both work, we should be able to get into this chest room and then the next C4 will be into the next chest room. And that didn't work, of course. Did this one work? Okay, they both didn't work. Oh, it worked, let's go. Okay, wait, can I open this? Oh, okay, so they actually do have some stuff. They have a Kevlar recipe, M4A1 recipe. Wait, can I actually, do I have these? I have that one, M4A1, I have both of those. Well, I can't open the rest that, wait, oh, I can. This one has guns, that's not really good guns at all. Uh, I'm hoping this is a better raid than what I'm seeing right now. Let's just go ahead and place C4 down right there. Let's go ahead and we can actually, we can get into both rooms if I place C4 right there. And now we're down here. Oh my. Okay, so all of this loot is probably from the mining quarry. And then up here, let's just go ahead and place another C4 and I will look down there in a second. I, I can't be ass. Wait. I just realized, if I place the C4 right here, will I get below the base? Oh, I won't. Okay, we're in. Oh, that has research kits. Sulfur? Oh my. Is there any leather? I don't see any leather. You've got to be kidding me. They actually had no explosive, but they have all this sulfur. That's a dub of sulfur. That actually helps us so much. Wait, that's exactly what I was needing to make another homemade. And then what was down here? Do slash craft. I need to take that sulfur, obviously. And then, am I in this base yet? I'm not. Oh, they have a sleeper? I didn't even realize that. We're in this area. Actually, I might be able to get over there. I'm not sure if I can. Let's go ahead and place down the C4, and then we have a homemade, and we can get into the other area, definitely. I need to take all of this, and I need to take the sulfur at the top. Okay, so this blew up. Place the homemade. That is actually crazy, though. This has to be a tier 3 mining quarry. And it blew up. Let's go. We're inside. We're at their TC as well. In here, nothing. Are you kidding me? So pretty much the only thing from this raid we got was a bunch of sulfur. Oh, this guy had some stuff too. 
Dude, I feel like this is a mining base. Because I think they had one set of Kevlar. Was I wrong? I swear I saw some Kevlar in here. I think my teammate took uh, the sulfur out. We got some wooden bases that'll help you extend your base. I'm pretty sure I saw some Kevlar in here. I don't really know if that was a successful raid because I think we used 10 C4, but it definitely worked out. We got like two dubs of sulfur. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer all this stuff back to my base and we still have five C4 to raid another. So like I said in that last clip, we have five more C4 and this is my first time ever doing like an end of world spend all of my C4 raid, obviously because this is the first map ever played is what I'm on right now. So I'm literally just looking for any type of base that I can use five C4 on. I mean, if we profit, we profit. I'm only gonna make more C4. I was actually thinking about giving away my base to one of you guys that comment on this video, but then I realized this video is coming out after the, the map is already over. All right, you got an ax? Mm -hmm. Because we're gonna blow into both of the doors and then there's a wood door we have to break. So we're probably not gonna get much off of this, but might as well see what's inside. It's the only base around here. Kind of weird. Actually, we might get into the entire base if I keep doing this. Wait, what? I think I actually can get in the entire base without even breaking the wood door. I'll blow that up and then place it right there. That Put should be the entire there. base. Yeah, it should be. Yep, yeah, we got is. in. Anything good? Please, 21 leather. Uh, ooh. Concrete stairs, and we can't even open this chest. What is that? All right, well, let's raid the cupboard. Anything, and they didn't even have points. Anything in the furnace? We got some iron. I'll take all the stuff, but that, wait, we still have one more C4. What can we do with that? Oh, no way. Normally this would be one homemade, but we have one C4. So, oh, are you kidding me? If we had a homemade, a C4 and another homemade, we could get into this main base. Hold on, can I craft it? Nope, I only have one explosive. You've gotta be kidding me. Wait, there's a logger, what? Okay, well that's interesting. Let's go ahead and blow into this base. I really wish I could have done that one over there, but we just don't have enough leather for it. Anything? Oh, wood door? Are you- did I just blow into this base and it only has a double chest? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and break down the wood door. No way. It's actually more than a double chest. I did not see that a second ago, but it has 80 hits left. I feel like I'm doing last video again. Six, three, one, and we're in anything? Oh my. I wasted a whole C4 for that and we didn't even get any clan points. So now we're on 2X, well, actually I'm not. I'm in the replay mod on Badline Client. This is my player, obviously. This is the base we're gonna raid, and I actually found a little bit of a loophole. If you go in here, this is tier four or tier five. So they have that all around their base at the bottom, but I found a little bit of a loophole. If I go up here and place the C4 and homemades, we can get to the top part of their base, and then after getting in here, killing their sleepers, we can place a homemade right here. It'll break the trap door and we can get into their main loot room. So let's go ahead and do that on the actual server. Hopefully that's not too high up. If that's too high up, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, so homemade. Hopefully it works on the first try and then it's gonna be one more layer. Oh, we got in. Oh, it was one too high. That shouldn't matter. We got the C4 place and then the next one is a homemade and we'll get into where their sleepers are. <laughs> Please work on the first try, 50% chance. We got it. Nice. Oh okay. Oh, already looks to be a little bit better than the other raids we got. Oh my. Okay. Yeah. I want to see what these sleepers had. Let's break that. Uh. Wait. Oh. Just had a bunch of freaking cloth. Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh my oh. god. A mythical this weapon over here. Stuff. Sleep, sleep sleep weapon. Mythical weapon. And here. Mythical. Wait. Let me see. Two Crossbow. Two what? Mythical. I've never seen mythical like that. Yo. Uh -huh. This guy had some all right stuff. He had soldier. He had a recipe crate. He, he had some. Yeah, I put all this stuff the in chest. the chest. What's in there? Oh, all right. They're definitely gonna have some stuff at the bottom of their base. Let's go ahead and get all this stuff out of out of here. Take it back to our base and then we'll come back. So far I've used two C4, two homemades and luckily both homemades actually worked on the first try. So let's go ahead and take the mythical weapons out. Uh, did we get the sulfur? We got the sulfur, we got the iron. It's not worth it yet, but I have a really good feeling about the bottom of this base. All right, so this should be, a, the trap doors are a homemade, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm hoping it is. If it's not, I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna be that mad. They, they should have good loot down there. I thought their sleepers were gonna have better stuff than just cloth. Well, the other one did have a soldier set, but boom, <laughs> boom. Oh, I did it. Okay. Anything good, please. Yeah. Soldier. Uh, 
Is there any leather? Oh, that's, that's, that's oh, right two there. stacks of leather? That mm. was way worth it. Five. You think and, uh, it was worth it? Was it a okay, lot of sulfur? Leading. Sulfur? Oh yeah, stack of sulfur decent, ore. Yeah, decent amount of sulfur. I just got, I just got a, a legendary equipment. It's not even organized, there's just stuff everywhere. Um, oh yeah, it was definitely worth it. So much sulfur. Or I'm just taking everything what? that I see that's for C4. I mean, look in the what? furnaces. Furnaces? Oh yeah, okay, well. We have like two rows of leather, so we needed sulfur. This was definitely worth it. Oh my lord. Apparently, this is actually great. I think we should have got back. We got enough sulfur back to make more C4, obviously. I don't know if we got our C4 back exactly. Uh, I got three stacks of leather, though. Why is this turret not on? Wait, I missed two homemades? Yeah, it was in this chest. I saw it. Uh, that's not the first time in one of my videos where I missed two homemades. The raid we just had, honestly, was really good. It, it like wasn't like stand out crazy or anything like that. But we got a stack of tier two stairs. That's gonna help the base. We got two mythic weapons, sulfur ore as well, a row. That's actually really good. Four stacks of leather, pretty much. So we definitely got our C4 back. We also got the two homemades. We didn't get any Kevlar though. I think we got one pair of Kevlar boots. I don't know where I put it though. Uh, but we definitely got a pair of Kevlar boots. Oh, here it is. I just keep overlooking stuff. I want to see how much explosive can I make with all the leather and sulfur we just got. Well, actually, not the leather we just got, but all the sulfur we just got. So let's make some more craft max. Get all this sulfur. Get some leather as well. Let's go over here. Craft max again. 41 explosive. And I'm out of sulfur. I need to get some more. I'm gonna take that slash craft again explosive 58 explosive so far i need to go ahead and smelt the rest of the sulfur that was a row and a half of leather for 58 explosive i am back at my base and i have a surprise for you guys i showed you in my last episode how to use a recycler you pretty much have three rare recipes you put it in the recycler and you have a chance of getting a legendary recipe and we just got an explosive recipe. But also you have a chance of it failing. Here are the combinations. So you can get a Kevlar recipe, C4 recipe, explosive. And pretty much what we do with this is it's how you craft items. If I don't have the recipe, I probably normally sell it to make some C4, like to sell it for leather, sell it for sulfur. But I've been raiding a lot of bases recently, off camera, on camera. Some of them you will see in this video. And we have a ton of rare recipes that I've been saving up. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and use all of these in the recycler and try to get some legendary recipes. The main ones that you want is a Kevlar chest plate, C4 recipe, M14 recipe is good. And that's about everything. I have everything but those. I have the C4 recipe actually, but C4 is good to sell. I don't have the M14 recipe though. And I actually just saw that it says at the bottom, you have a 50% chance of it working. So let's go ahead and do all of these rare recipes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that is how many legendary recipes I could have. So I'm just gonna put them in here and if I get something, I will tell you guys obviously and I got nothing on this one. You've gotta be kidding me. The second one didn't give me anything either. So this is the third try and we got Kevlar leggings. I already have that as well, crap. But like I said, I can always sell them. Oh, I got another one, M4A1 recipe. That's an assault rifle. Do I have that? I don't have it. You unlocked it. So that was the first time I've ever seen that recipe. Oh, no way. I just got a Kevlar chest plate recipe. Like this is actually really, really rare. And I might end up selling it. I don't have it myself, but I'm not really the type of person to craft armor. I don't even have my chance to craft equipment with rarity up. If you do that, you have a chance of getting uncommon, rare, legendary stuff like that. But there's certain people that craft armor and guns. I'm just not one of them. And this could be very valuable to one of them. I don't know why, but it seems like the Kevlar chest plate recipe is just the hardest thing you can get on the server. I have no idea why, but it's just, it's just one of those things. Like you would think C4 is, I mean, C4 is hard. Don't get me wrong, but I just feel like no one ever has the chest plate recipe. And I just got a Kevlar helmet recipe. And this is the last try. Come on, give me something good. And M14. Oh, that's M14? That's actually really good too. I don't have that, but I might try and sell it because that is hard to get as well. So we got a bunch of legendary recipes. I think I did it in this space with one homemade. This should blow us into both doors. I'm pretty sure. Or it's at least gonna blow up this one door. Dude, if I can, if, if, oh, oh crap, it only blew up one door, but one more homemade will get us in. Wait, I think actually if I place it there, it'll get me in as well. 
At least there's a turret. We're gonna have to get rid of it though. Oh, we did it. Okay, I need to break the freaking turret. What is Cole doing? Is there anything good in there? I didn't even check to see if there's chests. Cole, help me break the freaking turret. There's iron, four leather, logs, mining quarry fuel. Oh, 20, 16, 8, 2, we broke the turret. Anything good? Are, are you kidding me? Where's all the freaking chest? Oh, there's two right here. I didn't even world download this base. I just saw it was two homemades. Well, they obviously have some type of like furnace room in there. That's probably where all their sulfur and iron is. Over here, I can't even tell. I'm gonna download the base. Wait, I'm getting back on? Okay, I'm back. So the TC's right there. I think that's where I'm gonna blow in because it's one away from the chest. And also we'll get into this room. And actually there's four chests. No, there's three chests in this room. So let's start and get, we need at least two C4 and one homemade, I believe. Wait, no, this is stairs, crap. Wait, oh. Who are these shot. people? Who are these people? Oh, I just almost got one shot. These people just came out of nowhere. I killed, I killed him, him, I killed him. Died. Oh my lord, we just almost lost the C4. I've never flinched so hard before. Did you kill him? Where did these people come from? I don't know. Uh, they had like almost, oh, another one just came. Yo, yo, guys, help. Who are these people? I accept it. Who's killing me? Killing another one? PewDiePie? Why is this guy killing us? I can't even hit him. I can't even hit him. I sniped him. Sniped him one more time. Oh my lord, how did I miss the snipe shot? Alright, nice, you killed him. What in the world? Where did these people even come from? This should get it. Yes, okay, so it was one C4 and one homemade. They messed up with the blocks. Guys, if you're watching this video, I suggest to make your entire base out of stairs. Just honestly. Okay, we got it. Uh, anything there? We're gonna have to break that chest in a second. Stack of T2 stairs. Oh yes, T2 stairs. Leather, some wood down there. There's no like sulfur? Oh, 13 leather. Over here. Crap, we're gonna have to break this chest. We're gonna get a lot of trash though. I have to see what's down there. Wait, can I actually open it? Oh, break it. Oh, there's some all right stuff in here. Okay, so we got some more rifle ammo. They have to have another chest in this base. Don't let them click the uh, the TC. Okay, so let's take this sulfur that we got. I don't need this freaking chicken, more sulfur. That's pretty much all we're getting out of these raids is sulfur. They have to have better stuff. Like where's their armor? I just, well, there is armor in here. All right, well, I think that's pretty much their entire base. So let's go and do the TC and a thousand? Holy. We got a Jesus. thousand clan points. Wow. Okay. Clan top? Are we cl are we on it? We're not on it yet. Clan info G L O. Wait, we are. Wait, are we? Clan top? Oh, we are. We're clan top number five. Wait, that was their base. The people we just killed, that was their base. You were right. Let's just go ahead and take all the loot and hopefully they don't come back. I don't really think to tell you guys, but if you look at clan top, every week the top clans gets like the rewards. So the top clan number one gets five hydro crates, five explosive crates, a Jaguar, which is a uh, helicopter, an ore pile, which is like a mining thing. Uh, if we were to stay at clan top number five, we would get two hydro crates and two explosive crates. So you guys know how I was telling you earlier that Kevlar chest plate recipes are really rare. Well, this guy is trading me six stacks of leather and it should be 15 stacks of sulfur for one Kevlar chest plate recipe. And honestly, it might be worth even more than this, but this was the best offer that I was getting. Uh, I've been looking for like the past 10 minutes. And this is obviously gonna make us at least one C4. So thank you to PVP Doggy for trading me and I hope you enjoy the Kevlar chest plate recipe. That is why I got the recycler. We have another trade going now. This guy's rendering me four stacks of sulfur and two stacks of leather for an explosive recipe. And I actually have three more of these. So this is actually a really good trade for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And we are making so much profit from those rare recipes when I turn them into legendaries. I'm so glad I got a recycler. I might just turn this video into a trading episode. So let's go ahead and add that to our collection. We have got so much stuff from trading and I've only done two recipes so far. And I am back with another trade. This is for the M14 recipe and this is a sniper. I'm pretty sure this is a bad trade, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take it anyways because I'm pretty sure I've traded with this guy before. One stack and a half of leather and six stacks of sulfur for the M14 recipe. And now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, that's a really bad trade, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it. We have a row of leather now, two rows of sulfur and four stacks of sulfur ore. I'm trying to fill this entire chest. 
And right after that, this guy was messaging me during that trade. This guy wants the M4A1S recipe, which is an assault rifle. And he wants to give me six, nine, ten stacks of iron. Did I just count that right? Yeah, ten stacks of iron. And then eight stacks of sulfur and 40 leather for the M4A1 recipe. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. And that might fill up the entire chat. Who is shooting outside of my base? This is the fourth trade for all the recipes we just got. And oh my, can this fill up the chest? I just filled up an entire chest with four recipes. So here's the moment of truth. We got a row of leather. We have all this sulfur. I want to see how much explosive that I can make. So let's go ahead and do craft max, 32 explosive. That is a little bit less than what I was expecting. I'm not gonna lie. Slash craft again. Uh, let's make two more explosive. I know I can do that. Off of all of that we traded for, we have two C4. One C4 is 17 uh, explosive, and then you obviously make it with sulfur. Uh, but we still have four stacks of sulfur ore. We have two stacks of leather, and obviously the iron is for building the base. So we got two C4 off of that. Uh, actually, we probably got a little bit more. It's not three C4, but it's pretty close. So I guess what I'm trying to say is when you're raiding a base, always take the recipes. So I think now is a good time to go ahead and end off this video. It was 20 minutes long. It was very, I think it was entertaining. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button. And in the next episode, we're going to be using some of the C4 that we got to raid some bases. And then after that, that might be the last episode on 1X and 2X because 1X is actually releasing tomorrow. Um, but it's not tomorrow when this video goes up, so it's kind of confusing for you guys. I'm going to use the C4 because we just traded and stuff. You guys just saw that. I'll use the C4 in the next episode, and then the episode after that will probably be like a start of the world type episode. So other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.